<clears throat> have them all over the place on the wall. There's, you know, I look around, there are fire extinguishers everywhere, which is good. But I, I guess if it really came time and the, we needed to use one, there was a fire, want to make sure everybody knows how to use it. And when it comes time, because in a panic situation, sometimes uh, if, if it's not already, if the training's not there, it's not a good time to grab a fire extinguisher and then have to go ask somebody how to use it. So basically we're gonna go through uh, uh, a few items, the basics about how. To, I also wanna talk about how to inspect these things because everybody needs to be able to inspect it. It's on your wall, uh, your workstation, want to make sure that whenever you walk by it's like the I'm, I'm always talking about the uh, the uh, the eye wash always want to make sure in your area you're walking around and there's an eye wash uh, container that's empty I, I want you to make sure that, and tell somebody or have somebody fill it that's the same thing with the fire extinguishers want to make sure in your work area or if you walk by and uh, see your fire extinguisher that's that's empty I want to make sure that you replace it yourself or have somebody replace it right away. An empty fire extinguisher is not any good. And by the way, if, it's not, if that yellow uh, needle is not in the green, even if it's just so ever so slightly out of it, then it's considered empty. So it has to be in the green. So you want to make sure you, you inspect it. And one of the first things, now they're hanging up on the wall by, by different methods. So one thing you want to make sure is that it's hanging up on the wall properly and that it's on a mount to where it can be taken off easily. That's easy enough to check. Uh, make sure there's no obstructions between you and it. If there's a fire, well, we want to be able to get to the fire extinguisher quickly. So make sure there's nothing in the way and you can get it down. Another thing when you're doing, somebody needs to be doing a monthly inspection of these. Now I'm not talking about the annual one, I'm talking about somebody here at the shop needs to do a, uh, in your department, a monthly inspection on them. One thing to do, take a look at the arrow in there. Okay, that's right center, that yellow arrow is right in the center of the green. That's good. Shows it's full. Now once you observe where that arrow is, take it and turn it upside down four or five times. And then take a look at it again. And if that arrow's moved, which in this case it's right there in the center where it was, but if that arrow's moved, it shows this fire extinguisher is bad. So it's still time to replace it. So we have the fire extinguisher. Let's think about the use of the fire extinguisher for just a second. I mean, that sounds pretty simple. If there's a fire, we put the fire out. But let's think about what type of fires we may have here. You may, uh, have an engine fire for something. The oil on an engine, the oil around the rear end, somebody doing a, using the torch, a small item catch on fire. It's there to truck, it's isolated. Okay, you grab the fire extinguisher to put it out to keep causing any more damage. Well, that's good, that's done. When that's done, then you wanna make sure and put that fire extinguisher out of service. There are also, there may be a case, and I don't know if there's anything here at the shop that would create this catastrophic of an event but you could have some sort of a major fire in some area to where just a very large fire and you have to use the fire extinguisher not really to save anything, but to create a way out, to just make a little safe place to get out. One thing we always want to remember, no matter what happens in any situation, our most important job is, is our personal safety. Uh, usually in the smaller case, what I was talking about, well, we want to save the equipment too, and we want to make sure whatever we do, we can do it safely. So uh, we want to make sure that we know who can, and I believe anybody here, as long as you know how to use a fire extinguisher, anybody here is allowed to use that a fire extinguisher to put it out, again, just as long as you're trained to do so, and this is part of what we're doing here today. Uh, and everybody else, probably in the event of a big fire, just needs to get away, get away from the building. And uh, I'll talk with Richard and, uh, and Daryl later on, and we'll talk about uh, a means of making sure in, a, in the, a, a catastrophic event that we have a place to go to and we can get a head count to make sure everybody's okay. So we have the fire. They talk about the, uh, the three letters, pass. Let me get this, let me make sure I'm not gonna spray anybody down. And you guys ought to be careful. <laughs> I don't know how far this is going to spray. Pass, it's pull. Now one thing you don't want to do is pick this thing up in a big emergency and try to pull that pin out like this. 
amazing how many people are gripping this thing and squeezing it and you're not going to be able to get this pin out. So your best bet is to have it on the ground. Grab the thing firmly and just pull it like this. So it's P-A-S-S. <laughs> yeah, you guys might want to get out of the way. We don't know who's going to get wet. P-A-S-S. Pull the pin. It's aim. And remember one thing. We're using this as our, as our fire, all right? We're using this as a fire, so what do, we, what do we have to have to create a fire? We have to have heat, we have to have fuel, and we have to have oxygen. So we're using this as our object that's on fire, and the flames may be shooting up to here, but one, remember one thing, you don't want to be shooting up at the flames. Don't worry, Norman, I'm not going to pull the trigger. We want to be shooting down here at whatever's on fire. And what the fire extinguisher is going to do is going to rob it of its source of oxygen. So remember, be aiming down here low at, at the object that's on fire, not at the flames. Okay, last warning, Norman. Okay, we pulled the pin. Remember, P-A-S-S, -S, pass. We pulled the pin, we aim, we squeeze, and then we're going to sweep. So we're going to sweep the object like this. All right. Okay, now what we have, we have a used fire extinguisher. It's no good. We want to drop it on the ground like that. That way we want to make sure if it's a big enough fire that nobody else is going to come along and pick up the fire extinguisher and try to use an empty fire extinguisher. We're going to grab another one off the wall. So, 